During the month of June, I've been collecting a variety of diamond painting items to show you today. It's all about rainbows. June is Pride Month and everything is related to love and rainbows. Welcome to Stone Magpie for this unboxing. Firstly, the progressive flag that I've got here on my table, I bought from Amazon at £4.17. I love that they've added new colours to the pride flag, which indicates diversity and inclusion. As I say, it's all about love and rainbows. So let's get started with this unboxing, starting with this diamond painting here. We'll push everything else aside for now. So the first kit that we're going to open today is from Shane. It was £3.50. The packages on my table are all at different price points, so we'll go through those one by one. But we're starting with a budget buy of £3.50 from Shane. Let's open, see what you think of this one. It is a small one to get us in the mood. <laughs> Look. Isn't that cute? I'm going to show you the picture straight away and you'll see why I chose it. Look at that rainbow with the two hands coming together to form a heart and inside it says love. Lovely. Love and rainbows. All right, so I'm going to just move that packet out of the way a little bit and peel back this protective layer to get a closer look at what we're dealing with here. Oh, it's very sticky. Oh, you can see the words. Wow, it's very clear for a little diddy one. I'm really pleased with the detail. Okay, so as we can see, we've got the stripes of the colours, starting here with the purple, then the blue, green, yellow, orange, red, just like my nails today. Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. I didn't have six fingers, so I had to cheat a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> and those hands and you can actually see that love wording so that is fantastic really good I think we need to measure it at this point just going to see if I can there I'm trying to keep as much of the protective layer on as possible so that I can replace it and it won't cause an issue but I need to reveal the size as we measure it and what do we need to measure it with a measuring tape package two this is so cute are you ready Ta -da! isn't that lovely it's a tiny little keyring measuring tape with the beautiful rainbow heart and it does have a protective bit of tape on there to reveal a little secret. Look, it's got a spirit level. Oh, I think it's the cutest thing. Just cover that up a little bit. And I'll show you if you pull here. Look, it's so diddy. Oh, it's fab. Let's see how far it goes to. Oh, I don't know if my arms are going to be wide enough. <laughs> oh, there we are. A hundred, a hundred centimetres, thankfully, because my arm is right <laughs> along my body. Whew, I thought I was going to run out of arm length then to show you. That is so cute. I bought it on Amazon for £4.99. And I think that's a bargain. I love it. Anyway, so we can use this to measure the lovely little picture. It looks quite square, so I'm presuming it'll be the same um, width and depth, but we'll see. 
So we have 25 and a half centimetres across and 20, oh, it is, um, I wonder if it's, let's try and make sure that's straight. Yeah, 25 centimetres down. <laughs> that is great. I really like this tape measure. It's good. It's like um, a very thin metal. And as you see, I just stuck it to my canvas there as, as I was measuring. And it's fine. It hasn't come up damaged. I don't recommend you do that, but it's very difficult to measure when the protective layer is quite thick and... This one is particularly difficult to see with the cover on. Of course, you probably won't need to do that, so you'll be fine. So yeah, very cute, loving that. So back to the diamond painting kit. We have got 18 colors in this one. And we'll have a little look at the canvas itself to see how clear the symbols are. The symbols, oh, look, the symbols are all in number order. Yay! And then going down to capital letters. Perfect. Really easy kitting up when it's like that. As you can see, they will be round diamonds. You can tell that from the chart because each one has a little circle around the symbol to show you where to place your round diamond. And I would say... It's fairly clear. It's not the clearest I've seen and it's not the worst I've seen. Um, it looks a little bit smudgy in the middle, but I think you'd get by because the colours are quite different to each other. So I think that middle portion, I'm looking particularly he here, will probably be the worst and the rest of it will be obvious so not too bad could be better but for three pounds fifty I'm not complaining let's have a little look at the kit and the diamonds comes in this protective pack you can already tell that I have got a spare sheet which I really like if you are new to diamond painting, it's got all of the instructions on this sheet. And I think this one would be a good one to start with. I know the chart isn't clear, clear, but there's lots of color blocking on it and it's a nice small size. So perfect. And it won't cost too much either to get going, to have a try at diamond painting. Having a closer look at this information that we get, We've got all of the symbols indicated nicely coloured. We've got the DMC number as well, which is really useful when you want to store your diamonds after finishing. We've got the amount of each colour used when you're doing the kit. That's always nice to know, a little bit of extra information. And then how many packs of each are included. So with this one, the most packs is 18 of 939, which is a very, very dark blue. So I imagine that the hands there are going to be that dark blue colour. So really, really nice. Basic toolkit of green tray, pink wax and a diamond pen. A few little baggies. Let's have a little look. So I would say five little baggies, and they are little, tiny baggies. But as you saw, um, there are lots of ones in here. So you might find those useful, you might not. With it having 18 colours in this kit, I think really you could just put 18 pots out and paint from the pots. Your choice here. As you can see, oh, look at all the colours. Oh, it is like a rainbow. Lovely. As you can see, all of the 
diamonds are in separate little bags. Look at that beautiful blue. Oh, look, it does match my nails. We might have to do a colour matching with my nails. <laughs> Where's the purple? I think this is the purpley colour, 820, which I would say is more dark blue than purple. But we haven't got a purple, have we? So, oh, have we? Because it says on here... Uh, where was I looking? Oh, 820 they've put as a purple. Okay, so they're calling this purple. I would say, I wouldn't call that purple. I would say that's more blue. But um, yeah, my nails are definitely purple and that to me is blue. But it's a darker blue than that one. So there we are. Um, I'm arguing with myself, I think, here. <laughs> what colour's next? Green. So we have a bright green, darker than my nail colour though. I think that's more of a, um, perhaps in the top of the heart shape maybe. We've got yellow, definitely. We've got orange, definitely. And we've got red. And to be fair, their red is better than my red. Mine is more of a pinky red. I think um, they've probably done a better job with theirs on there. <laughs> We've got another red as well, though. So we've got two oranges, three oranges, two different reds. I think I need to have a look at that canvas again. Find out why. Okay, so, oh, I think it's because what they've done is um, blended it a little bit. So the number four is 606. So the top of the canvas is going to be this red. Then they've put in some, no, J946, yes. They've put in some of this color here. So it is a bit like a sunset going down. <gasps> How beautiful. Now, where was this lighter green? 166, number one. Ah, so what they've done is they've used number three, which is 307. And then they've sprinkled this along the horizon there. Oh, I love that. I really do. I wasn't expecting that, you know. So F, yes, that's definitely the 820 down the bottom here. Sprinkled in, again, melded with, looks like N995, and then that goes up. So, fabulous. I think that is fab. Right. Oh, there's some browns and purples, and I think that's this bit here. Like, um, part of the horizon and the shoreline. Oh, I love it. I do love it. Now, of course, when you're diamond painting and you pull back these protective covers, especially if it is the clear protective cover, you sometimes want to use a cover minder. Package three. What have I got in here? Well, ta-da! Now then, when I was looking for a rainbow cover minder, I didn't, what, what can I say? None of them really stood out to me as cover minders. So I cheated a little bit and got a fridge magnet. And so I think by putting a magnet on the other side, let me go and get one. Here we are, got a little magnet. Putting that underneath will hold that on. Look, perfect. And it's nice big cover minder now as well. So I cheated a little bit, <laughs> but I do love it. And this was from Amazon, £4.25. And I think it feels really well made. Just get that magnet. And as you can see, it, it does sit on it. It's perfectly fine because sometimes you don't want the magnets too strong. It will slide, so it will be, be able to be taken off carefully. 
Um, so I'm going to look for some more fridge magnets, you know, and use them as cover minders. I'm really pleased with this one. It feels really well made. It's got a nice gloss to it. It is the progressive flag. Oh, it has got um, a website on there, but I bought it on Amazon, made in the UK. So there we are. I'm pleased with that. And like I say, you can use it as a cover minder. Right, oh, I'll measure that with my new measuring tape so you know how big it is. <laughs> Just because it's good fun using this little measuring tape. I love it. Okay, it is eight centimetres by about mm, five and a half. So a nice big cover minder there. Right. We will now pop all of this kit away and go to our next package. I really hope that you're enjoying seeing these things as much as I am showing you them. I'm having so much fun and I'm excited to show you the next package. Here it is. And you may well recognize this label here from an unboxing I did a little while ago. So I think you might have a clue what's in this package if you saw that video. I can tell you it's come all the way from France. Oh la la. Well, I can't turn it over because it's got some address details. So I will try and open it this way around. That's quite tricky. <laughs> right, throw that over there so it doesn't get in the way anymore. And I have a lovely velvet pouch. What do you think's inside? Oh, I know, you've guessed already. Well, let me show you. <gasps> Beep. My favourite end. A four-placer, but look what's inside. <gasps> Oh my goodness, oh wow, it's a rainbow with glitter, oh look at the colours along this lovely resin diamond pen. We've got purples, we've got blue, we've got green, we've got yellow, we've got orange and we've got red and then we've got it going back the other way too. So again, purple blue, green, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So fabulous pen, a lovely weight. Now, this is from Saint Plourbeau Atour in France and his name is Nicolas and he sells through Etsy and on Facebook. So this was a Facebook drop, again, where I was very lucky to be selected to receive this rainbow diamond pen. I'll bring it a bit closer so you can see the glitter inside. It's like a silvery glitter. Isn't that lovely? So there you can see the shape of this diamond pen with the different ridges. Now, the first pen that I bought from Says Plubo Atour was my spring diamond pen, this one, which I use all of the time. And you can see the different shape here. So the ridges are different and this one's thinner. It doesn't feel quite as heavy as this one either. So nice to have a new diamond pen, which is different to the other one. It holds really well. And when using the multiplace so that's nice it's got like um, it goes in a little bit here can you see it thins and then flares out a little bit there so you've got a bit of a, a place to put your thumb and finger and on the other side it's the opposite actually it flares out and then goes in so you, you I think I would probably hold it there a bit further down the pen and then this ridge bit here would just sit away from my fingers. As I said, this pen I was lucky enough to get on a Facebook drop where if you go to Says Plurbo Atour site, 
sometimes he lists something like 12, 16 pens at a time and you put your name in which one you would like and you're pulled out of a hat and then you head over to Etsy to make your purchase if your name is pulled out. So this one cost me £31. So a really lovely pen which I'm excited to use. Woo! Okay, well I'll pop it back into its lovely protective pouch while we continue because I have one box left. Oh no, only one box left. But look at what box it is. Right, I'm going to move these out of the way to bring the box in. Okay, so if you've been with my channel for a while, you'll have seen that I've only ever done one Diamond Art Club diamond painting. So I really wanted to see what rainbow I could get from there. I'm going to open the box and let's have a look. I'm still using these battered old red scissors. I should have looked for some rainbow ones. Oh, I'm going to. <laughs> right, I'm going to be honest at this point. There are two kits in this box and I'm only showing one today. I'm really sorry, I know I'm a tease sometimes, but because there were so many things to see in this unboxing, I want to save one of them for a special unboxing of its own. So I'm going to get the diamond painting out and we'll have a closer look. So this is the one that we're going to be looking at today. I'm going to move this big box away. Okay. So the box is really sturdy. This is shipped from America. I'm in the UK. It's taken about two weeks to get to me. And there are no issues with the box at all. It is really sturdy. On this part of the box, you can see there are lots of details here and um, how it works, etc. So if it is your first diamond painting and you wanted to get a really good quality diamond painting to start with, then you've got lots of details. I really don't want to show you the picture just yet, so I am being a bit careful on what I'm showing. This is the front of the box and you'll see here square diamonds. So Mm, do I let you know what the picture is? Uh, <laughs> can you guess? Can you guess with it being all about rainbows? If you know um, Diamond Dark Club really well, you probably will have guessed. Here we go. It is Rainbow Roses. It is a 64 by 43 centimeter and it's a square diamond painting. Okay. Let's get into this and see what the canvas looks like. So taking off the cellophane wrapper. Really easy to remove. I mean, they just feel quality. As soon as you feel the boxes, it's a lovely, glossy, sturdy box. All right, let's see what's inside. Okay, that's everything out of the box. Here is the sticker that you get with the kit. And it says here, use it to organize your stashed kits. Place it in your logbook or anywhere you like. So let's have a look at the toolkit first in its own little branded bag. 
can see already that there are lots of self-seal baggies in here. I'll do a quick count. 22 self-seal bags. We have a translucent diamond tray, the funnel end. We have a squidgy for the end of the diamond pen, a multi-placer, again my favourite four-placer. We have the basic diamond pen as well. We have a pair of needle nose tweezers, my favourite type of tweezers. I find these really useful. Nice that they have a guard on because they are very pointy. And I find these useful for picking up pink wax from between the diamonds sometimes. Um, some people prefer to place their diamonds with tweezers, but I don't do that. I just tend to use those to get rid of those excess pink wax bits that drop onto the canvas as I'm going. Nice weight to these, good quality. Oh, we have more baggies. So we had 22, 29, 30. So we actually have 30 self-seal baggies all together. And lastly, we have got two Love Heart pink waxes. So that's what's in the tool kit. That tells me that Rainbow Roses is an older kit because I know that they've updated the tool kit recently. So we'll pop all of that back into its little branded pouch and we can have a look at the diamond painting itself. So first of all, the protective cover on the diamond painting says, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. So nice. So removing that out of the way, I think I'll move the box as well. And we'll open out Ooh. Oh, oh wow, we'll open out the canvas and see, oh, beautiful colours and really clear roses there. Look at all of the colours within each rose itself. Wow. I'm just going to try and get this canvas a little bit flatter for us. Just by rolling it the other way gently. I'm excited to get another Diamond Art Club canvas. There, that's good. That's sitting nice and flat. Get it all into shot for you. Well, look at that. I mean, colour, colour, colour. Rainbow Roses. What a fantastic name for this kit. <laughs> really couldn't be called anything else, could it? And if you see down here, we've got 60 colours in the kit. And four of these are AB colours. We look at the legend down the side. We've got four ABs here, and then it starts with the 154. So on the legend, we've got the number, we've got the symbol, and then we've got the color code, which is the DMC number. And the DMC numbers start at 154. So that's how you know that there's AB colors within the kit. The symbols look really clear. I'm glad we've got one, two, three at the beginning. Oh, four, <laughs> one, two, three, four, as the ABs. I'm just having a look. The symbols all look so big, so clear to read. And I'm hoping that translates. Oh, we've got a five there. Hmm. Not my favorite thing, but 
you know, seven, eight. Um, I do kit up by symbol. And so sometimes what happens as I'm kitting up, it can get confusing when I get to five and it's number 41. So that's the only reason that I really don't like numbers out of order because I have been caught out a couple of times with when they really do jumble up a lot of the numbers close together. Um, but it won't be too bad because there's not that many out of order. Okay, let's have a look at the canvas. If I peel back this corner, oh, it's really glossy with this poured glue and it is very sticky. The symbols are quite small in places. They are very readable, very clear, definition, not blurry. It is a beautiful, beautiful picture. Oh, it's going to be, and it's nice because there are colour blocking elements to it. And then just maybe one or two bits of confetti, but mainly colour blocking on this one. Can you see there? So all of that is colour blocked. All of that is colour blocked. So it's a bit like layers. And as you get into the middle of the rows, obviously, those layers get less and less. Really gorgeous. I think I want to look at the diamonds now. Do you agree? Let's have a look. When we get a Diamond Art Club kit, we get step in step instructions in a booklet, which is always lovely. We also get this sheet here, which are stickers to put on your storage containers when you're diamond painting. And these are cut out. I can lift that, can you see there? They are pre-cut, so you just have to peel and stick onto the storage, which makes it really easy. And the painting actually goes that way round on the canvas. I suppose if you wanted to, you could frame it. No, I don't think it looks right that way, but that way you could frame it if you preferred to have it upright rather than landscape, portrait, landscape. I quite like it landscape though. Okay, so let's have a little, oh my goodness. Now you know, if you watch my channel, you know what I'm like about color. Oh my goodness, oh no, oh I have to hold it together, oh my god, I love it, I've got to get into this pack. I'm not going to take them all out and I'm not going to um, show all of the diamonds because I want to keep them all like this because it looks so pretty, doesn't it? And I think there might be a system to it when we're kitting up. Sometimes if we pull from the middle, it's the first um, symbol on the legend. So I don't want to mess that up, but I do want to have a look at the ABs. So we've got a one through, oh, I'm going to have to do it. gonna have to do it as I said they are square diamonds and they are all gorgeous colors <gasps> this is going to be a delight to diamond paint with all of that I wanted to show you this color AB here look really fabulous all of those different colors within that AB we will look on the canvas where they're going to sit. Oh, I see. So, so I think it's running down in order of big amounts to little amounts towards the centre. Look at that yellow, pink. There must be one more. Where is it? 
that the four A B. Oh, oh, save the best to last. Oh wow. Oh, astonishing. I really want to try and get those back in that pack. <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ta-da! Managed it. <laughs> okay, I need to find out where these ABs sit. So, number one, two, three and four. Start up this side. Um, twos here and in here. Ones there. Threes down here. Ones here. Four there. And four in here too. Most of that is that beautiful blue AB. <gasps> wow. Fours here. Again, that beautiful blue. Threes. One. Twos. I don't think there's any in that rows there. Let's Peel back that. Have a little look. Ones, fours, threes, Threes here, few fours, and I think that's about it. So lots of AB sprinkled around, not much up here though. So, and that's where I start my diamond painting, I start top right. And I am wondering whether to change that up a little bit to include more ABs at that top. So I might have to start, um, I'm not quite sure. I might have to turn it upside down and finish in that area so that I know if I want to add ABs to there. I am blown away by this kit. Now the canvas does look quite tight together. I don't like my diamonds sitting too apart from each other. I like it when they sort of click into place. So that will be interesting for me to see how close they sit on this one. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. The canvas itself the Diamond Art Club is always lovely. It's got like a velveteen back to it. It's got this perforated edge and it just feels really soft and gorgeous. And as you can tell, it doesn't crease. So it's been in its package all the way from America. I've lifted it out. I've folded it very gently the other way around and I haven't got any creases in it. I suppose up here, but absolutely no problem whatsoever. They are really good quality. And look again, just look again. What a treat. Oh. Oh. Oh, just, I'm, honestly, I'm gobsmacked by that beautiful amount of gorgeousness. So that's the Diamond Art Club. That's the beautiful pen that I will probably use to complete the Diamond Art Club kit. 
we've got the lovely cover minder that I can cover mind with and we've got the tape oh we've got the tape measure I haven't measured <laughs> I haven't measured it's supposed to be 64 by 43 so let's put that to the test and it is 40 hmm, 42 and a half 42 and a half by I'm going to say 63 so just shy of those measurements there I would say 63 by 42 and a half thank you little tape measure I just love that little spirit level on it it's so dinky isn't it it's so cute <laughs> and we had our love kit from Shane for £3.50. This kit from Diamond Art Club cost me £31. So we had £3.50, £4.99, £31, £31 and £4.99. So, oh and £4.17 for my lovely flag. Wow, what a fabulous bundle. I love it. And all of that colour now on my table just brings me so much joy. And I hope that watching this unboxing has brought you some joy too. Oh, beautiful. If you joined in a Pride March this June, then I hope that you had a fabulous time, you beautiful people. And I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everyone. Bye.